Hi, I'm thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial video in which I'm going to show you how to run a generalized least square method in panel data analysis. So, uh, why uh, generalized least square method? So, uh, ordinary least square method is uh, a lead to a good estimator of the uh, parameter of the econometric model. But sometimes uh, some hypotheses that are hidden behind the uh, econometrics like uh, non-autocorrelation are violated. So when uh, the error terms of your model is not uh, is uh, autocorrelated, so you cannot longer use a generalized least square method and to correct this uh, autocorrelation. Uh, you can use a uh, generalized least square method in order to, uh, to help your model improve uh, their characteristics. So, uh, to run a uh, generalized least square method, you just need to uh, go in uh, the section quick, uh, select uh, estimate equation, uh, your dependent variable. I have a uh, in my database uh, information in export that diversification index which is also called uh, pair index that i've been uh, using a log transformation so my variable is l tel meaning logarithm of tel index followed by the constant and uh, independent variable we have the log of uh, x logarithm of exchange rate we have the uh, logarithm of uh, corruption index. We have the logarithm of human uh, capital. We have the logarithm of uh, GDP. We have uh, the logarithm of open economic openness. We have uh, the inflation. My variable inflation has not been transformed by using log transformation because the survey have negative variable uh, value. We also have foreign direct investment in our sales. So um, to run a generalized B square method, you need to go in panel option. You chose first of all a uh, fixed effect. Uh, Fixed effect model because a uh, generalized uh, model is based on the estimation of fixed effect model. So you can notice that in the weight section, the by default value is uh, no weight. So uh, generalized d square weight can be added by using this uh, section I chose for uh, cross section weights. So I do not choose the uh, second option because my uh, my uh, panel is not completely balanced. So I can, if I run the cross section as you are, you can see that uh, the message is made because uh, this message is said saying that uh, cross section effect with cross section as you are not allowed with balanced panel because my panel is not balanced. Uh, so I choose. Uh, Cross section weights, and then click on OK, and you can see that my uh, model uh, has been estimated. And if we uh, come back a little bit on in our uh, in our fixed effect model without uh, GLS uh, weight can see that uh, the R square is uh, just 0 0.82 and after running the uh, generalized least square uh, cross-section weights, you can see that our R square has been improved considerably and uh, all the variables are now uh, significant in our model. So that's it for this uh, tutorial video um, uh, generalize this square method in e and let us uh, see you soon.